What's up everybody, my name is Chase Price and today I'm teaming up with the Lux Lens to show you guys some of their presets, brushes, and how to use them effectively within the Lightroom software. So first things first, you're gonna wanna import some pictures. I've already got three pre-selected here, but it's very easy to import. Just go over here top left to file. It's gonna be the fifth tab down. It's gonna say import photos and videos. Just click that and import from there. These are the photos I wanna go ahead and start working with. So we have the Golden Gate Bridge, a road downtown, and a park. All from a recent trip that I took to the Bay Area. So let's say we want to edit the Golden Gate photo first. We'll select it. We'll go over here to Develop. Click Develop. And inside the Develop tab is where we can start making our changes. So like I mentioned earlier, we want to talk a little bit about our presets first. And what presets do essentially is they make global edits to the picture by changing multiple sliders. So when you click a preset, it's already got a predetermined setting over here on all the slider options, which is cool. And it kind of takes the guesswork out of editing changes. So to undo anything you don't like or don't want to keep, go ahead and press Control Z and it takes you back. So I'm gonna come back over here to the preset side. Go ahead and select one of these presets real quick. Show you exactly what it does to the sliders on the right. So I'll click this one. So each preset has predetermined values over here on the right and just clicking through allows you to see what each one can provide for your photo. So up here on the top left, we have a little preview window and just scrolling over these presets allows you to get a little preview of what it's gonna look like without actually transferring it to our main photo. So you can scroll around a little bit, see what you like. Once you find one you like, go ahead and click it and it'll transfer to the main photo. You could go over to the right sliders and adjust it a little bit more if you wanted to. If you wanted to zoom in, simply left click and you can use the hand to kind of pull you around and check out different parts of the photo. Simply left click again to zoom out. I wanna briefly mention some of the ad presets that come available with this collection. They're located down here at the bottom. They adjust one or two sliders on top of your current preset. So we'll press add cool, makes everything a little bit bluer. And then we'll undo that, press add warm. And those are nice additions you can use on top of the presets that you've already selected. We'll head back to our library tab and start working with another photo. This is gonna be our park photo. Click develop. Okay, this is kind of a bright sunny day. I'd like to turn it into a colder winter day. We'll head to our winter collection and a quick way to do that is to use some of these black and white presets. I'm just gonna start clicking through some of the black and white options over here. And you can tell it instantly gives it that kind of winter feel. It looks way colder. I do like this black and white faded look. I also want to add some snow. So they do have a black and white faded with snow option. And that's what that looks like. Let me come down here and check this HDR one. That's nice, but I think I want to go with the black and white faded. And when you click these presets, especially working with these snowflake effects, it may take a moment or two after you click it to make the initial change to the main picture. Let's say you like the snow, like the preset, but you want the snow to have a little bit of a different effect. You can come down here and there's different options for your snow. You can have tiny flakes, uh, standard flakes, larger flakes. You can just experiment a little bit with your specific picture. There's also an option to come up here to the fall collection and start choosing add fairies. Now this is just a little bit different effect from these larger snowflakes in the winter collection. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit more subtle, but it gives you another option for the snowflakes, which is nice. Heading back to our winter collection now, let's say we've decided we like the add snow landscape option. So we give it a moment for it to come into the main picture. There it is, now let's say uh, we want to go with this, but there's a snowflake in front of this man in the picture and we really want to remove that. So what we're going to do is head over to our radial filter tab and you see all these little white dots are radial filters. 
We're going to click the one right over the man in the picture. And we're going to click delete. Now it may take a moment because there are a bunch of radial filters in the photo. And voila, there you go. That one's deleted. So you could do that for a portrait picture if there's a snowflake altering the face of a person or something very similar. Another nice feature you can use when working with these snowflakes is make sure you have the radial filter tab open. You can click this little box down here and it shows you with and without the effect. So it works for all these add snowflake options in your preset bundle. You'll click one, see it with, click the box and see it without. Now if we want to remove all changes we've made, we just go to the bottom right, click reset and it takes it back to the original photo. As we head back to our library now, I want to start working on our last photo. And in this last photo, I'm going to show you guys how to use the adjustment brush. Now the adjustment brush is for small local changes you want to make to a photo. The presets are for altering the general look and feel of the entire photo, whereas the adjustment brush is going to be detailed, smaller edits. So I'll just pick a preset to make these colors pop a little bit more. And I like how this punchy mat looks. We've picked our preset, let's get out of that. Our adjustment brush is gonna be in the top right. Over here, we're gonna click that tab and that opens our adjustment brush options. Now coming onto the picture, you can see what the brush looks like. And in this particular photo, what I wanna do is brighten this girl up a little bit and make her a defining characteristic of the photo. So to choose your adjustment brush, you go up here next to effect. There's these two little tiny triangles on top of each other. You'll click that and it'll open a menu and you can choose which option you want from there. I'm gonna choose brightness because I wanna lighten her up and make her pop. Now if you come down here to the bottom next to brush, you'll see size, feather, and flow. Now size is going to be obviously the size of your brush. Feather is going to be how hard your brush is, specifically meaning how well it blends into the background. I like to keep it pretty high, typically, and then you don't have to worry about flow. Key flow at 100. We're still in our adjustment brush tab, but I want to zoom in on the subject a little bit, so click done. Zoom in, left click, center up our subject, and then go back to the brush. Now I have a little bit more room to work and see what I'm actually adjusting. We still have our brightness brush selected, so we're gonna get our size right. That'll work. And I'm just gonna click and start brushing over the subject. And you'll see immediately it'll start lightening her up so you can see her a little bit better. We're just brushing over the entire area of the subject that we wanna edit. And at this point, you really don't have to worry about going outside of the lines of the subject because of the feathering tool, which will blend it nicely. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And there you go, we lightened our subject. Now we'll come down here to this little box and see our adjustments without and with. And you can see there's definitely a distinct difference. So I want to go ahead and layer one more adjustment brush on top of this brightness brush. We'll come click new next to mask. You can see the brightness brush is that little white dot there. And I'm going to go ahead and click enhance image. This is going to make it a little bit more clear, a little bit more defined. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Brush right over the subject. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because we have that feathering tool. And it will take a little bit of that brightness away, um, but I'm not too worried about it. It's just gonna make it a little bit more defined as well. So with, without, with, without. Click done, zoom out, go back to our brushes. Go back to turn the effects on. And there's a distinct difference. You can really tell that's enhanced her a good bit there. So I'm happy with that. And that about wraps it up for me today. I hope this tutorial really helps you guys out. Um, I hope you explore through the Lux Lens 
presets and brushes and do a little experimenting yourself and are able to create some incredible images. So happy editing guys and thanks for watching.